I was at Roca's restaurant one night and I was sitting at the bar, probably had one too many glasses of wine, and uh, a couple who were visiting asked where the brewery is on Brewery Gulch. And Fred, the bartender, said, you know, there hasn't been a brewery here since uh, the 1890s. And I said, well, Fred, somebody should put one in. It would be great on Brewery Gulch. And he said, Vic, you're the guy to do it. And I thought about it, and I'd retired. And I thought, you know, I've got to look into this. And that the seed was planted there. The personal touch. It's about people you know who add their unique personal touch to what they do. Brought to you by Pantera on Main Street in Bisbee. Pantera, fashion with a personal touch. Pantera. Hi, I'm Marilis Faree, and I'd like to introduce you to some of the vibrant fashions we're offering this summer at Pantera, located on Main Street in colorful Bisbee, Arizona, where it's always cooler. Offering a personalized service, my staff, Abigail, Colleen, and Tonette bring years of experience to assist you in creating a unique and individualized look. Nine years ago, it, it didn't have, beers like ours did not have the following that they do now. So fortunately, we were a little bit ahead of our time. And I'd come from the wine industry. I'd been a winemaker for over 40 years and uh, had my own winery and the family still has it. My son-in-law is the winemaker. And, my daughter's a manager there and uh, uh, so I had the background in fermentation science but I had never made a beer in my life so that was something I knew I'd really have to study and so fortunately as I had retired I had the time and I called around to see where I really should go to learn this and uh, England seemed the the place for me Sunderland University is known for their their brewing they have their own brewery there you really learn the nuts and bolts of brewing and then when I traveled in Europe and saw other breweries I at that time my daughter was yet to be married and and she had come back from University of London uh, a year before where she was fortunate enough to get a scholarship and study. And I said, how would you like to return and go to brewing school with me? You know, I've been talking about possibly putting in a brewery. I heard this dead silence. And I said, Mindy, what's wrong? And she said, oh, I'm looking for my luggage. When are we going, you know? <laughs> And so the two of us, here's this old geezer and his 22-year-old daughter, we get accepted to go to the University of Sunderland. And when we arrive, there are 14 other fellows ra ranging in age from about 22 to 26. And so we were at the extremes. My daughter was the only woman, and I was the only older guy. And so they went around the room, and asked us for our biographies and it got to us my last name's Winquist so we were at the end of the line but before I could talk my daughter got up and said well good luck you guys because we know nothing about making beer and so you're going to have to put up with all our questions and the saving grace was the professor said I know who's going to be the best 
student already. And he said, well, actually, it's going to be a race here between the father and daughter because they have no prejudice in the way to make beer. You've all been through training in various breweries and think you know it all. The beauty of it turned out to be at the same time I was having the brewery built here, the professors were so intrigued by this that they actually got very excited about helping design the brewery. And so they'd work with the, the company that built all the equipment for us and the architect, and they were just thrilled to be able to participate because they'd never seen anything like this in England. It's very high tech. It was all custom made for us because of our peculiar fo footprint of the buildings. Everything had to be custom made for mm -hmm. us out in San Diego. So in our way, we try to really catch that character of Bisbee in our beers. And that's, that's what I am grateful for to be able to do. That's the personal touch, because I love history, but I love new creativeness too. And my personal touch is to combine both those here at our brewery. Getting it all there? Yeah. All right, so.